Good morning. There was another gang rape in Malmö, I think it was two days ago. There's now four of them in Malmö in a very short time period. No arrests. See? And the police say, well, just act normal. You know, that's the best crime prevention you can do. Act normal, walk the streets. So, yeah. And I think now that this, uh, the citizens of Malmö, they realize that you know, in order for them to be safe, they have to do something. There's now night patrols starting. People walking the streets in Malmö. There was a police car that was blown up. I think this was yesterday in Malmö. Yeah. One arrest. Yeah. Nobody was hurt. There's a crime wave here in Stockholm. Gangs break into people's homes. And the police, they don't have the time. There's too many of them. And, um, you know, if you call the police and say, hey, I got a, somebody broke into my home, it can be two, three days before they arrive, the police. And of course, people have to live in their homes, you see, of course. So they fix their door or the window and they clean up the place and there's nothing for the police to do there so sometimes they don't even bother turning up. I was reminded of a video that I did, I think it was in August. It was really bad in August, right? And I said, it's going to get worse and then it's going to get even worse and then it's going to get really bad, right? And I think that's where we are right now. It's really, really bad. And I said, before something starts to happen, <laughs> and nothing is happening, really. Well, there's one thing happening, right? Media is talking about it. Yeah, they are reporting on all of these things now. And uh, I don't understand why. We have a left-wing media here, of course. And this reporting is killing the government. But I think the media they just got tired of talking about the weather and, um, you know, some stupid ass comment from some silly celebrity or whatever. So they are not talking about it and it's killing the government, that's the thing. Because we have a socialist Green Party government here and there is no masculinity in these parties whatsoever. They are all feminists. And, well, you need masculinity, a lot of it, to deal with this situation that we have. And they don't have it. They have this Minister of Justice, right? He's very busy these days. He has to comment on all the things that is happening. <laughs> and he's a tiny guy, he's like a little puppy, you know, total feminist. And I can't imagine anyone believing this guy to do something effective. So they have a problem, right? And I can't see them doing well. No, nothing. If they do well in the next election, which is in nine months, you see, I don't know what to do. No. If these parties, the socialists and the Green Party do well in the next election. I don't know what to say. So, uh, yeah, and it's going to get worse, right? The, pol the criminals won't stop. They won't stop at nothing. Our no-go zones will grow. You know, we will have more and more problems. And the government can't do a thing. They are feminists. They can't handle this. So that's what I wanted to tell you. Bye. Bye.